Hello everyone and welcome back to Gaming Droid and welcome back to a modern Skyblock 3. So I said I'd do a few bits and pieces um, as we were, or sort of while we were away, and I have done. Uh, you can might tell that I've taken the chicken armour off, that's because I broke the helmet while we were away. In the meantime though I've put on some iron and some diamond. We've got some new bags that we haven't looked in yet. Uh, rails we don't care about just now. Uh, we've got Soulbound. Ooh, Dark Boots. Are these better than my Iron Boots? They are better than my Iron Boots. I will have those. That can go away. A Mining Backpack. That's actually pretty useful. Origins of Darkness, Zombie Heart. Uh, the Zombie Hearts can come out because they can go into our Resources Chest. Resources, but that can go away for now. Uh, nope. Oops. Uh, iron, some, yeah, nothing massively important there. Ooh, an overgrowth seed. That'll be useful once we get into Britannia. A lava charm. I like. That will protect me from lava and can go in the charm slot. So there we go. We now have lava protection. So we can't get burnt to death by lava. Nice. Ooh, nether wart and a rare mega loot thing. We need those. Well, we don't need, need the rare mega loot. We do need nether wart, though. Uh, flint and steel, we already have one of those, and yeah, nothing else that's massively important right now. So let's have a look what's in the mega loot, because we might get something that has looting something. Uh, it's an inspiration spear, leeches 76% of the player damage dealt. Uh, it counts as an axe, apparently, and has a terrible attack animation, but does have 10 damage. Okay. So let's just pop our boots around, because these boots have jump three. Which, are, which that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, so, where was I? What was I doing? Yes, I was going to show you what I built in the nether, because I said in between episodes we were going to, uh, or I was going to build some bits and pieces in the nether to try and get hold of a blaze. I built something in the nether to try and get hold of a blaze. And it's quite an impressive thing I built in the nether. I like having the triple jump, though. Say hello to the spawning platform in the nether. Now, I did do a test off camera, um, just with me sitting here, and it does spawn blazes. So I'm going to stand here, and there's a blaze already. Well, that was fast. Uh, I did get myself a bow and some arrows. And there's a blaze rod, which is what we needed. So uh, that was quick. And what we can do is... I can just boot this guy. And then off over they all come. So this is going to be... Uh, one second, guys. I'm going to turn down uh, hostile creature sounds for this. So yeah, we've got a farm now, we can get gold, we can get loot bags. And we can get blaze rods as well, if we so need. Now automating this farm is going to be a little bit difficult, but not impossible. We can automate this farm later on. But I needed a nice big open area. I had a look to see if a corridor farm would work. And I don't think blazes can spawn on corridor farms. So I decided not to go with the corridor farm. Uh, gold nuggets, that's nice. Wheat, we actually need the wheat. And we've got one more. or oh, two more bags. We've got lapis. An angelic feather protects you from falls at the expense of hunger and a witch hat. Actually quite useful. And... Ooh, Nebulous Hearts. Again, Nebulous Hearts are going to be useful later on in the game. So Nebulous Hearts allow us to make uh, magnetic coins and get ender pearls, things like that. So getting Nebulous Hearts out of those bags, very useful thing to do indeed. So now that we've got a blaze rod, we should have completed the quest for blazes. Let's just have a quick check. Have we completed the blaze quest? Yes, we have. So let's put away the bags we don't need. Um, as to resources, which is hat goes in here. 
Uh, you, you, you. And I'm going to keep the feather on me, because the feather's actually quite useful. Gems go in here, we can put the gold in there as well. And yeah, we're kind of running out of space. We need to get onto that uh, improved storage. Lava bricks. Are they just decorative? Yeah, they're just decorative. But that's fine. Nothing wrong with a bit of decoration. So, the feather protects me from any fall damage, and the backpack will pick up any ores or anything I need, but I can also open it and... Uh, ooh, haha. <laughs> it also picks up certain mod drops. Interesting. So now that we've undone that one, do we have access to another set of these? No, we don't. Not yet. So we still need to do grass, seeds... Um, possibly we might get more access when we just do grass and seeds. So let's do grass and seeds. So to get grass we need seeds. And we can get seeds from wheat, I believe. You can also get seeds by going through the combustion chamber. So if we have a look at the combustion chamber, we can put dead bushes and flint in the combustion chamber. But yeah, we can just craft seeds. So... That should be the first half of that. And then we need grass, which means we need this, and we need our infusion stone. And if we hold seeds in our offhand and loop the grass, there we go. Grass block. That's good. And that gives us a whole bunch of leaf carpet. Useful, I, I, I guess. I wouldn't really call that useful. So, we need a place to put our dirt at the moment. Uh, do we have any spare kuble? We have a little bit of spare kuble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand out from this platform. Basically another kuble platform. And we're going to use that as a grass platform. I can make myself a basic stone builder's wand. In fact, I think I might even have a basic stone builder's wand. Do I have a basic stone builder's wand? Uh, not on me. Let's grab two sticks and we'll make ourselves just a basic stone builder's wand to make this easier. So the next quest we have to do, which is another lock quest, is the quest regarding... Um, the quest regarding seeds so we need to get hold of seeds just make sure we light up so we don't get anything spawning and we need to go and grab a bit more cobble we are heading towards an automated cobble farm but the automated cobble farm is not massively necessary just because the sheer amount of cobble we get just by doing this so we should get almost a stack of cobble in that amount of time. I mean, the number to get that netherrack platform, the amount of cobble I had to go through, I went through about eight stacks of cobble uh, between the surrounds made of slabs and the cobble, uh, cobble required to make the netherrack. I went through a load of cobble. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... I might do an episode of just me prettifying up things, building an actual island base. Because um, at the moment, I haven't really got a base so much as I've just got a pile of stuff scattered around uh, my uh, little mini empire. Ooh, look at that. We got 16 out of every single one of those. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, and there we go. 12, 12 by 12. Which I'm sure will irritate some people because they want it to be set on a, an odd number. So now we can lay down the grass. And throw a grass block down in the centre. 
Now I do have some coarse dirt, I believe. Yeah, I have three coarse dirt. One, two, three. And we can make that into non-coarse dirt just by making ourselves a quick, um, or grabbing a quick couple of sticks and making ourselves a, oh, like so. There we go. So now that grass can spread and we can use some bone meal to get seeds, which is the next lot quest. While we're getting seeds, uh, nope, don't put the meat away. While we're getting seeds, I think it's time for us to look at an automated cobble gen, which is generating cobblestone, and that requires us to make magmified stone. So magmified stone requires liquid magma, which is magma creams, a piece of stone, which is easy enough, and some alchemical coal. The alchemical coal is coal and gunpowder in a alchemical machine. So we've got some coal and one, two, three. And because we're using Tertius um, alchemical dust, uh, this should get us like five alchemical coal. Four, four alchemical coal, that's fine. So the slime. So to get magma creams, uh, we could um, harvest magma slimes from the nether, and magma slimes do spawn in there, because I have actually seen them spawn in there, but snowballs and plant matter. Well, we've got snowballs, and we just need some plant matter, which should be easy enough to get. We've got one here, and we do have our shears of the winter, not on us, but in our equipment chest. Shears of the winter. And then we'll just cut down the rest of the trees and get saplings from them. And replant all the sapalingus. Sapalingu! Or most of the sapalingus. Apparently we're one sapling short. Oh well. Plant fibers. Uses. Plant matter. There we go. So it's eight to one. There's eight, eight and one. Slime. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, what I'm going to do is rather than um, use this slime to make magnified stone, uh, which is what a lot of people would do, a lot of people would use this slime to make magnified stone, I'm actually going to secure myself an ongoing source of slime. So if we have a look over here, and we have a look, actually if we have a look in the quest book we'll actually see it um, as well, we can make blue slime saplings. And here they are, blue slime saplings. To make a blue slime, sli uh, blue slime sapling, we have to hit a sapling while holding four blue slime. And blue slime is made with a slime and a lapis in a combustion chamber. So we've got lapis. We've got plenty of lapis. Uh, we have 15 lapis. So what we can do is we can actually secure ourselves pretty much an unending supply of slime by making ourselves... One, two, three... One, two, three. By making ourselves a sapling and then growing the sapling. So if we grab an infusion plate. Now what we do also need is we do need some slimy mud. Or some um, mud. We need some... Dirt. Is it slimy dirt that we need? Yeah, we need slimy dirt. So green slimy dirt is four more slime balls. Uh, we need a little bit more snow for that, but that's fine. We've got snow blocks. You can see I've prepped myself for this stage of the game. So we've got enough to make four more slime so we can make the slimy dirt for it. Because we do need the slimy dirt, unfortunately. Oh, 
otherwise it won't grow. The slime saplings don't grow on normal dirt in this mod pack, which is a minor frustration. But once you've gotten to the point where you can make slime, once you've gotten snow, uh, if you don't have access to snow, uh, then you can make yourself four snowballs using um, four snowballs using water bottles, which are easy enough to make. They're glass and uh, glass picking up water, glass bottles picking up water. And then we need to put the four blue slime here and we need to recover our HP. Let's get rid of these guys at the moment because I want uh, this sapling specifically to grow. There we go. Now I do have a grafter. Uh, slime saplings are quite a rare drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my grafter because I'm pretty sure the grafter guarantees me a drop from my slime sapling. Uh, I got this from a loot bag. Yeah. So slime saplings are actually a moderately rare drop. So I'm just going to grab myself some spare slime saplings just in case something happens and I don't get a slime sapling from it. That just guarantees me a slime sapling for future use if necessary. Oh, I love that triple jump. And there we go. So lots and lots of slime saplings dropped that time, which is great. And we also got a couple of blue slime drop, but unfortunately they fell over the edge. But that's fine. We now have plenty of uh, green slime because each of these is worth four green slime. And we can get a loot chest for doing that. Uh, if you were to be playing gated mode, you actually have to get all of those... Um, you actually have to get all of the... Sap uh, all of the saplings, slime saplings, and you have to get 64 of each slime. If you are playing in the gated mode and you're trying to get 64 of each slime, uh, bonsai pots are your... Uh, sort of key thing to do because the slime only drops from the leaves and it's actually got a very low drop rate but in a bonsai pot it's got a 20% drop chance so you've got a pretty good drop chance from bonsai pots if you actually need to um, so magmified stone uh, there we go we need one liquid magma alchemical coal and stone so we've got the stone in here and then we just need one of these. I'm actually going to do two for a very good reason. Because one of these is actually going to be used to melt um, things up here because you can use lava and you can use all sorts of other heat sources but this stuff actually works as a heat source and gives a heat value of nine as opposed to a heat value of one. So that melts nine times faster now. So we're going to go one, one, two and one. And this should give, a, give us four or five. Four and a fifth one. No, just a little bit shy of a fifth one. But that's fine. The next thing we want to do is get lots and lots of wood. Because we are going to be making wooden hoppers. So I'm going to be showing you basically kind of like how this works. And I'm going to be making myself a... Um... I'm going to be making myself a kind of a ray to collect cobblestone. So there's eight of those. A uh, little bit more wood and we'll make another one. Because so we do want nine. And then we want a storage device. I don't know if I can build drawers yet. I'm kind of hoping I can build drawers. Do I have enough wood? I don't have enough wood. Okay. We're going to go and grab some more wood then. Grow for me. Grow for me, tree. Dang it. Give me plant matter. 
I need the trees to grow quicker. So we're going to get some wood and we're going to build an array for uh, the magmified stone to grow uh, to create cobblestone in. Uh, personally, I am a big fan of using glass from the smeltery, but we don't currently have a smeltery available, so... I suppose we could go down the smeltery route, like, right now. If we really wanted to. But for now, at least, I'm just gonna pop over to... Um, where shall I build it? Shall I build it over here for now? So we're going to take our nine of these and we're going to go one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to break this one because this one's going to need to be attached to a block for now. Just so that we can get its output pointing in the right direction. And we can actually make ourselves two chests, I suppose. We can we can start with it outputting into chests. Now there's all sorts of ways to do this. Um, basically what a lot of people miss is that um, magnified stone gives cobblestone based upon the number of sides touching um, the liquid in question. I'm just going to use wood for now because we don't need to worry about it being anything else. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're going to build this up. There we go, and we can put torches around the outside. Now, we could make this more efficient by putting spaces between each block, but it's not all that important, really. So, do we have any of that stuff sitting anywhere? We don't have any of it sitting in any of those at the moment. Do I have any glass? I do have glass. Now our fluid depositors, the uh, fluid droppers are full, so this should be reasonably easy way to. Oh, I love that! So that tank is currently full. Excellent. So if we go, we can get a bucket of the crystal liquid, and then all we're going to do is dump it on top of this, like so. So now it will start producing cobblestone. Um, I can't open that chest at the moment. Whoops. Slabs. 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 It is sort of scattering because we're not being massively efficient right now. But that's okay. You'll see that this is now generating a steady supply of cobble. Just putting this in to catch all the cobble, as we don't want it uh, just sitting around as entities. And there we go, we have a cobblestone generator. That is slowly pouring cobble into our chest. Yay! Perfectement. Perfect. And that's the magnified stone complete. 
And slowly, slowly, as the um, episode goes on, my mo uh, my backpack and things just become more and more chaotically insane as I fill my backpack with all sorts of rubbish that I don't need to be carrying. It's not my fault, guys. I try to keep my backpack clean, I promise. It's just, I, I, I have no access to good storage yet. So our next objective is to get all the different seeds. That is going to be super easy because we have stacks of bone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bone meal and break grass over and over again and I will be back in a couple of minutes. Hello everyone, welcome back after that short little stop. Um, so I said this wasn't going to be a problem. I had to go and, back, I had to go and fetch additional um, bone meal for this. J just to give you an idea. These are, I, I got a stack and a half of dandelions, almost a stack of poppies. I got 20 plus of every seed, apart from one of the seeds I needed for the quest, the goddamn fluffy puff seeds. Necessary for the quest, but took me over two stacks of bone meal to actually acquire. Donut whispers a tiny voice, tell your friends. <laughs> so that's that quest complete. Has that, yes, this is unlocked basic farming. Hooray! Basic farming. Uh, you can go down with the trophies and you can get right into that rubbish chest. Um, so we're going to put seeds in here for now. Seeds and organic things in there. So basic farming unlocks the ability to make snad. It unlocks worms. It unlocks um, feeding troughs, irrigation systems and crop sticks. So we've got a decent uh, set of things to go there. But we haven't gotten access to basic automation or better storage. So I'm probably going to go into the tinkering now and see if I can get hold of basic automation or better storage. For that, I need to do the two crown quests. But I think what I will do is I will leave that until the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I have been the Gaming Droid. This has been uh, Modern Skyblock 3, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-zee-bye.